Hello and welcome to This is My Architecture. Today with me I have Vasilisa from Maitona. Hi. So Vasilisa, can you tell us a little bit about Maitona? Sure. Uh, Maitona is a game developer and publisher company. We create mobile games in the time management and hidden object genres. Okay, so mobile games is it. Uh, so what's, what's this interesting architecture that you have for us today? Yeah, uh, for our games, we were solving the use case of more personalized and relevant offers. So me and my machine learning team, we built an in-game purchase recommendation system, which is called ML Offer. Okay, so the system with its own name, that's very interesting. <laughs> so uh, what does it actually do? Yeah, uh, our system has two parts, the one that makes predictions and the other is responsible for models training. So uh, when game servers request predictions, uh, the Lambda function gets triggered by API invocement and takes on the role of a reverse proxy. It allocates traffic between our recommender models, uh, which are placed in the ECS cluster. We also have uh, one container for Bandit here, multi-arm Bandit. Okay, so that's a very interesting piece. I suggest it's, it uh, allocates the traffic dynamically, but how does it actually work? Yeah, uh, in our Lambda function, we implemented dynamic traffic allocation. Uh, the multi-arm bandit collects data from Kafka. On the way, uh, users reacted for different models predictions and periodically recounts weights. Okay, so it assigns the different weights to the, to the models, I guess? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so basically we have our inner continuous A-B testing between our models. Ah, so okay, so there's an additional use case which is A-B testing, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, but for machine learning, there is additional interesting thing which is a model, model training. Yeah, How do sure. you actually train your models? Sure, uh, for model training we use SageMaker, which, which gets uh, daily uh, triggered by a um, managed workflow in EC2-based Airflow. Mm -hmm which is a workflow manager, I suggest. Yeah, uh, it collects data from Kafka, and eventually our model stored in the S3 bucket, from where they are gathered to build models API containers. And we also use ECR to store our uh, API images for different models. Okay, so that's very interesting, but definitely while building this system, you might have had some challenges and problems. What, what were those? Yeah, you see, uh, the ECS cluster and Lambda were not our first choices. Mm -hmm. At the first, we implemented manually uh, Docker Swarm on EC2 instances with traffic for traffic allocation. And it brought a lot of problems with scaling and adding new versions of models. Ah, okay, so what, what were these issues? Uh, you see, uh, the requests are not evenly distributed within a day, so uh, we had to manually add new replicas, create new instances, or change their capacity to handle traffic spikes. Okay, kind of a challenge. How, <laughs> how did you actually solve it? Yeah, actually switching to this version of our architecture were, were our solution. Um, having our models as ECS containers allows us to create triggers for auto-scaling and uh, to safely add new versions of models. Ah, so problem solved, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've been running this system for some time already. So what were actually the performance and the outcomes of the system? Yeah, uh, according to test results, um, our system performed much better than the one without machine learning personalization. Um, we increased our conversion rate uh, three times and our uh, revenue was boosted four times for this type of offers. Okay, and by, by, by how actually many customers is this system used per day? Yeah, it's like uh, several hundreds of thousands. Okay, that's impressive. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Vasilisa, for sharing this information with us today. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching This is My Architecture.